some of the main takeaways were really what Musk said on the call. Uh, in terms of the numbers, we can talk about those in a second, but um, pretty mixed and I think aren't going to change anyone's mind. You either think Tesla is the ne second coming and is going to dominate the future of the auto industry, or you think it's wildly overvalued. But Musk did say, as well as apologizing to those analysts he insulted um, at the last call, he did say a few things which I think really um, gave the stock some positive momentum today. One of them was he was quite emphatic that even though Tesla can raise equity if it wants to, he said it's not going to. The company has turned the corner and it's going to be profit all the way from here. And also in answering that question, he was asked really sort of the implicit question was, has Tesla received a Wells notice? There's a suspicion amongst some of the skeptics that really the company has an undisclosed SEC investigation. If it has, it certainly hasn't risen to the extent that it's got one of these notices because he was asked, is there any reason why that would stop them raising capital? And he said, no, there is none of that. And really, it also comes down to the cash flow. He said, once again, they are going to be producing cash flow in the quarters ahead. So I think that was a lot of positive takeaways from it. But I think you heard there on the call, he said he is very tired and he sounded it. This sounded like a man who has been awake for, I don't know, 50 hours straight. He was slow. It was a bit garbled. And it really, he was talking about ongoing production difficulties at Tesla, trying to get these cars out the door. So there, there's a, there were positives to take away from it. But I, again, I think the skeptics will have a lot to feed on here.